Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, let me share my screen. And here we are. So today we're going to talk about uh, automated uh, testing tools. I'm going to talk about Selenium. Uh, it's a well-known product that allows you to test your web applications. So let me show you the website. Yeah, uh, they have uh, several multiple products for this kind of purpose. And uh, I'm going to show you the one that is easiest to use. And it's called Selenium IDE. And it's a, a browser plugin that really easy to download and install and i will show you how it works so once you installed uh, your extension uh, build a project view and browser how it works we launch our application and there is a button here that launches uh, selenium id okay that's the one so i have created uh, three different uh, tests already and uh, uh, the thing about tests is that you like when uh, tests are useful when you already have your application in production keep developing it extensively especially if you have uh, more than one developer working on the same project so you want to make sure that uh, changes that you make to your application that they do not break uh, the code and uh, for web applications, the use of uh, a tool like Selenium is really useful. It basically uh, automates a set of actions that you can specify. You can specify those actions manually, or you can uh, do it. Uh, uh, you can record your actions, and it will create a script for you. So just take a look at this. Uh, this was created as a recording, save category. And let me uh, run the test to show how tests can be executed once they record it. And we will record a few new tests and I will explain like what we're doing here and how we're trying to make sure that uh, it does. So when I click run the test, it clicks category, it clicks add new, and then it clicks uh, save button. So this is a like a basic test. Like we, what we want to uh, make sure here is that okay, step over. No, I don't want to run it. I want to step over, like one step at the time. Step. We are on a list page of categories. One more step. We click add new button. Uh, one more step, we click uh, save button. Oh, we're not adding, we added in category, right? Yeah, we added in category. One more step, category was saved. And what we're trying to do here now, uh, so first five steps, all these were, were recorded manually and now we need to make sure that whatever we're doing it works uh, so how we can do this so in our case when we save a category we uh, edit page is being reloaded and the record updated message is displayed so for us we can see if a record updated message is on the page and if it is that means our save command did work so that's one of the ways to see if something worked we are looking for some sort of a text on the screen and this is just one of the options so i created this step manually i uh and what it says uh, there is a bunch of comments that you can use here and our command is to execute script this is our script and it is checking for the text record updated and it uh, sends the results to a variable named message and on the next step we do uh, assert command this is uh, one of the commands uh, available uh, in selenium we target is the message our variable name 
and the value is true. So if value is true, uh, meaning that this kind of message appears on the page, that uh, means our test was successful. So let me run it one more time, then we try to break it, and then I'll show you how you can record a similar test, okay? Add new, save, or oh, not add new, edit, edit, that's obviously edit. Okay, okay, let's try to break it and see what happens then. So for instance, uh, how you can break this kind of functionality? Uh, for instance, you can change the message. Uh, or you can redirect user to another page after record was edited. Let's change the message and see how our test will respond to this. Okay, obviously you can run uh, this test one by one, but when you test it as useful, then uh, at some point you can run all of the tests. And then at some point again, you need to figure out how to automate it. So. So every time you save the project uh, in Selenium, uh, it offers you to download the file. I mean, it's a browser extension, right? So it's it cannot access directly your hard drive, but so but it can offer you the file to download it. So I'm saving it in desktop. Save. You want to replace it? Yes. And then yeah, I saved it many times, as you can see. And then at some point, you can just uh, uh, load it again. Uh, that's what you're going to do on uh, your computer when you download it. So you click open, point it to your uh, file that uh, you download, and your test are loaded here. Okay, so let's uh, try to break uh, this functionality and see what happens in the test. Okay, let's uh, go back to PHP runner. And uh, so this is the edit page of uh, category table. And what I'm going to do here, instead of, uh, I am just going to replace the default message. So in before display event, this message is uh, hidden initially. It will be only shown uh, after the record was actually saved. So I build it and I'm just going to change the message. Okay, and let's uh, test it manually first to see what it does. Uh, categories, uh, I'm going to edit any of uh, categories. And after I click save, you can see that message has changed. So let's see how our test will respond to it. So we're going back to our tests and we're going to run it again. And boom, uh, it says that test failed. So what happened here? So our execute script com command, uh, it uh, run this uh, JavaScript code. So we need to use plain JavaScript here. I'm pretty sure there are some plugins available, so you can use jQuery as well. But again, we just start, we need to start somewhere. So we just use a basic JavaScript code. You just need to remember one thing here. Okay, let me change it back. That when you write your tests, you need to make sure they are robust. They do not break. Uh, like you need to think about like what, how do you, how can you tell uh, if it worked or if it didn't work. So. And in this case, when the record is safe, it's kind of uh, makes sense. Unless, again, if you change that message in your code, it will break the test. It's not a big deal. You can run the test. You can update the test. So it's not only important to create those tests. You need to uh, keep uh, running the test, and you need to update your test if required. Mm -hmm. OK, so I'm commenting this out, so our test will work again. Uh, let me show you how did I create this kind of test. And then we, uh, so let's start with something that is really simple. Okay. For instance, we want to test how our add page works uh, over the same category table. Okay. I create a new test. I will call it add category. 
and our test is created and uh, I click uh, record button. It opens the base page of uh, access specified here and makes sense. And you can see it says uh, that Selenium ID is recording, which uh, I mean, it's not a video. You do not need to hurry. Uh, it only records like the actual uh, clicks or keyboard, like something that actually uh, makes uh, change so you can you, you don't need to hurry uh you, you can just uh, think about what we want to do so in our scenario we are going to click categories and we click add new and we enter category name test one two three and we enter something else and we click save and Again, the record was added is something that should appear on the page and we can use it to make sure that our test uh, did work. Okay. Uh, now we go back to the our Selenium IDE and we click stop recording. And let's see what was created here. So we open the menu page. And then we click a menu that takes us to categories uh, list table and then uh, add new, then enter value of uh, uh, test one to three here. Probably we need to, uh, if you do it like for real, we will need to uh, probably create some random value here. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's going to be uh, issue with a uh, duplicate category name uh, anyway in the description we change focus to description uh, we enter no description in description field and we click save button okay so now what we need to do is to make sure that uh, record was added message appears on the page so we can just go to our existing test and see if we can reuse the previous code. So add category, we add a new step and command is, now you can see that how many commands are here. And if you want to write some real tests, you will need to uh, learn a little bit about what is happening, what is available. Again, I am doing the basically the easiest possible thing. I am just checking if record was added. Again, uh, maybe there is something that is uh, more robust than just checking for uh, this kind of message. I don't really know, like maybe uh, if your application is multi-language, then probably checking for message in English is not the best idea and you need to figure out something else. Again, I am just showing you like a few ideas of what you can use here. So we are checking if uh, this text appears on the page, we save it to message variable and on the next step, we use a sort command to target our variable name, which is message, and the value should be true. Okay, something like this. Let's okay, let's save. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, that's I mean, it saves the whole project. Let's save it to the desktop. Yes, I want to replace it. And let's uh, run our test. And it did work.